we've gone through most of the software features of this device, okay? We've gone through entering patient ID, customizing our home screen and our printout, okay? We've gone through the auto functions. We've gone through setting up our PDF pathways, okay, as a cost-effective way for you guys to push your ECG reports into your patient management software. Later on, we're going to go through on how to actually automate that with Scott. But what I'm going to take you guys through now is a very nice feature of this device, which is the review function, okay? So this rhythm strip down the bottom that is going to continually monitor our patient for up to half an hour has the ability to be able to capture more than one ECG report and save that for one patient, okay? So we've gone through the auto button, which is to get one. But if we hit this review button here, we're going to be able to get more than one, okay? So I'm going to throw this into an arrhythmia now, okay? Now we're going to go into this one, okay? So the likelihoods of you guys being able to get an arrhythmia across a 10-second ECG, okay, isn't that great. So what this allows us to do is I can view the whole time that I've got my patient hooked up to my HC Plus along the bottom here. And then if I notice any arrhythmias in the bottom panel, okay, I've got the ability to go back and review those, all right? I can also review heart rate changes, okay? Heart rate's up the top here in the top right-hand corner, okay? So we can see here, nice normal sinus rhythm. We've got some arrhythmias that we want to have a look at. And then we've also got a slow heart rate, which we want to get as well, okay? So rather than hitting the auto button, we want to hit the review button. If you hit this auto button here, everybody, you're only going to get what's on the screen, okay? You're going to get the last 10 seconds. So if you want more than one or you want the ability to go back and scroll through, we want to hit this auto button just here, okay? So I'm going to click that auto button now. And we'll notice this scroll bar down the bottom, okay? It allows us to go back and view the whole strip, okay? If you're a mouse clicker like I am, to get this orange window to be able to go back and view this section here, for an example, so that it's represented in the top screen, rather than left clicking, you wanna right click, okay? So if I right click and scroll through, I can click all through here to get what I want to get in the top, okay? So I want three ECGs for this patient, okay? I want the normal sinus rhythm, okay? Then I want some of this, and then I want this slow heart rate here at the back, okay? So what I'm going to do is, because we've already set up our PDF pathway, okay? We don't have to do anything more than highlight and capture with the auto button the reports that we want to get, okay? So I'm going to left click on the left-hand side of the screen, okay, to highlight both panels in gray, all right? And you'll see down the bottom here, this is the gray window that we're going to be viewing in our report, and then I'm gonna hit auto, okay? So that's one report for this patient, okay? The Glasgow Interpretation Software, which comes as a standard with this device, is going to interpret my strip. Okay, I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna scroll along, Okay, and I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to get and highlight this left click. Okay, my review strip down the bottom. If I hit auto, now I have a second report. Okay, for one patient. Okay, and you'll notice this rhythm strip down the bottom. Okay, so that corresponds up the top with the beats. Okay. And then finally, I wanted this. So I'm going to right click to get the orange panel across, left click to highlight the gray panel, okay, for my report. Hit auto, and I have my reports, okay. So the PDF pathway that we set up before, if we go back and have a look, if I scroll down the bottom, here you go. Here are all three timestamped to when I took them, okay. All right, we can enter patient ID if we want, all right? So hopefully that helped you guys out with a better understanding and a better look at how to customize this software. 
to your needs or your customer's needs, okay? And the nice functions and features of this device and software too, okay? Thank you so much, guys.